Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial, otherwise known as Bucket Plugin Tutorials or Spigot, I guess. If you're joining me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below because I do these every week. If a suggestion you'd like me to do on a plugin, you get it. Comment that in the jibbles below or the uh, comments for you new people. So, Anyway, if you suggest one, I will give you a shout out when I get to it. Like this week is actually brought to you by Cheeseman DW, Luke Van Delft, uh, Smitten 10, and uh, Trime 388. And this is Prison 2. This is a fantastic plugin. It works very simply, very quickly. And it um, encompasses two things that are, are used for every prison server, as well as adding a few other things is really nice it uh, allows mines and rank ups is for all that and it's made by sir phase 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 that i think i pronounced that right i don't know so anyway it does depend on a vault you need an economy you need world edit and a permissions plugin obviously um and you need to already have your ranks uh, your or your group set up in your permissions plugin as well as any prefixes suffixes stuff like that if you want to do it that way it does have the option to set your prefix in the plugin although i'm not sure how uh, effective that is or how well that works i always just set it in the permissions plugin because that's how it always has been so let's we're going to hit two things in this we're going to hit the mine well we're going to hit a few more things than just the mine and the ranks but those are the main things that we're going to hit so I'll annotate down below here over the, the video. So if you want to jump to that section, like you've watched this already, you can click on that. So uh, the first thing we're going to hit is mines. Now this one is really easy. Like I said, it requires a world edit before. So we're actually going to just uh, select this spot and then we're going to come and we're just going to fly down here and go pause two. So there we go. We've selected our two corners of that uh, mine area and then we're going to go mines create test so we've created that mine now the test you would just replace with the mine that you want to call a b c whatever you want to call it then we're going to go mines add block and then the name so we've said test and then we're going to put stone in and then we're going to put 90 percent so that last one is the percentage and we hit 90 there we go and then we're going to go one more add block we're going to do 15 which is iron ore and then we're going to add that 10. So that's all that we're putting in that mine. This is just an example for you guys. So once you've gotten that done, you do mines reset test. And then that will show the mine. You can see that it's filled up our selection. It's randomly filled it in with the mines that we've, we've uh, set for that. And then the other thing that you can do, although it automatically sets a spawn, you can come over, stand somewhere, go set spawn test. That way, if somebody's in the mine when it resets, it puts them over there. Then there's also an optional thing where you can add a rank to the mine, which is really cool. Rather than build messing with world edit and adding groups and denying groups from there and all that stuff, you can do this in the uh, plugin itself by doing mines, add, rank, test, and then the rank rank name whatever you want to do keep in mind it's probably case sensitive so make sure it's capital or lowercase depending on what you use so then you have a few other options you have mines remove block and then the, the mine name and then the block the block id or the block name you can use names but i usually use block ids because it's more exact um, and then you can also delete it by doing mines, delete, and then the, the, the mine name, which is test. So uh, you might be asking, how often does this reset? How do you change that? That's actually something set in the config file, which we're going to hop over, take a look at right now. Okay, so here we are in the uh, our server. Now keep in mind, I have uh, this, this is the same plugin I, or the same server build I use for easy rank lights. But anyway, Put your prison.jar file, you got your vault and your world edit. It does work with 6.0. I haven't tested vault 1.5, so it's kind of out for you guys. Got PEX and then Essentials, which has the economy in it. And then I have chess commands in here. It doesn't conflict or anything. This is, like I said, I've used this server build for a few tutorials so far. So anyway, we want to get into our prison folder. And then we want to, uh, we have our ranks and our mines listed in here, which we don't really need to look at. But we're going to want to look at our config file 
So in here, you can set a few things. You saw that prison at the beginning of a lot of my commands. You can change that in here by the server prefix. You can uh, check updates. Now here's where you set the reset time. Now the reset time is in minutes, so you can change that to be whatever you want. Or you can use like an automated uh, script or uh, some sort of scheduled command plugin to reset those mines. Then you can reset them like in order if you want. It's up to you. And then you can reset your your warnings levels, 10, 5, 1. You can add more to that by just putting the comma and the number in between there. Fill mode true. Um, and then you can change the not the the messages that show up so if you want to make those com custom or color whatever colors you want and then here's the ranks for multi-world you can actually set it for so this is if you have multiple worlds and different ranks that, that work over each other keep in mind this is kind of for advanced people but or advanced users but you can set that for true which then will uh, set it for so then it will only allow them to rank up in those worlds that you add to this list probably don't need it but you know it's there if you want it so that's pretty much it the config file is very simple so feel free that's it let's hop over and talk some more about uh, the rank ups and wrap this up all right so welcome back we're gonna continue on this is gonna be we're gonna go over a couple things you have an auto smelt option which is gonna automatically put an iron ore into or it's gonna automatically change it into an iron ingot that one actually requires permission and is enabled by doing slash as and uh, the permission is prison.auto smelt. And then you have another option that's kind of cool is the slash block command, which is going to take everything of that one uh, item in your inventory and make it into blocks. And that permission is prison.block. And of course, the command is slash block while you're holding the item that has the block. All right, so let's let's hop over. We're going to talk about rank up. So I've only made three ranks in this prison test it's a b and c so the first thing we want to do is do p ranks or pranks for short add a and then the cost so the rank is the group name and that's a and then it's going to be zero because it's free that's the one that everybody gets set to when they join and then we do pranks add b 100 that's going to cost 100 bucks and then uh to rank up to c is going to be 500 there we go now, like I said, it, when you're defining this, you have an optional prefix thing in here, which I haven't really tested, and I'm not sure exactly what it does. Like I said, I usually do the prefixes with packs. If you want to see how to do chat formatting uh, with the, the rank showing up before it, I'll put a link in the jibbles below to that. So then, once that one's done, we can just do rank up. Or, hold on, let's do, let's check my balance. So, we got 49... 100 and we're going to do rank up and then we have ranked up to b there we go test and now we're at b and we can rank up again and then we've gone up to c and there it is actually helps if i remember to turn my face light on so anyway we're just wrapping this up here uh the you got a few other options that you can run as an admin you have your pranks promote and demote the user which would then move them up free of charge uh through the the rank system you set up keep in mind if you demote them it's not going to refund them their money so you might have to do that manually if you're demoting them because they asked or, or i don't know and then there is pranks remove rank however i was not able to get that to work so sorry about that also there's another command about uh redefining the mine area but for some reason it couldn't see the mine so that looks like that's broken for now and that's about it. I, I'll tell you guys what. I'm going to put a download link in the Jibbles, you know, the description for you guys, uh, which will have this example up on it. You can take a look at it. You can check out my permissions file, which is probably the biggest thing, how I set up the prefixes and suffixes and all that stuff. It's a very, very basic permissions file. It has no permission nodes in it, really, because at the end of the day, this plugin actually it has everything that's there for default which is nice you don't need to give any permission nodes for the rank up you don't need to give any permission nodes for the mines or anything like that it's really nice so that's all i got for you hopefully you guys found it helpful feel free to like comment and subscribe and for those four people who suggested it please share it out and uh let's get this plugin known this is Kaz from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless oh, 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 oh. we're good we're good we're good no no no, no.